About one in four has a bump in the mouth. It means an extremely common problem. And I will tell you the top five causes and how to treat them. We will start with the most common and end with the most important. So stay with me not to miss life-saving information. The most common cause of the bump in the mouth is gum abscesses, also called dental abscesses. They are pockets of pus on the gum, usually near the root of a dead or dying tooth. So when the tooth has a problem, it's infected. Infection spreads through the root canal and infects surrounding tissues. This causes inflammation and abscess formation. This bump is usually painful, may release pus if pressed or spontaneously, and often leaves a bad taste in the mouth. It is swollen, red, or whitish, and tender. The affected tooth is often sensitive or has a history of issues. These abscesses usually don't resolve on their own if the cause isn't treated. The pus may find a way to drain, temporarily relieving symptoms, but the source of infection stays. It can become chronic, persist for years with mild symptoms and periodic flare-ups. Sometimes it can lead to serious complications like bone loss or spreading infection. Treatment is drainage of the abscess. This means making a small incision in the gum to relieve pressure, pus, and pain. Root canal therapy may be needed. Sometimes tooth extraction and antibiotics are necessary. Amoxicillin is commonly used, but it's not a standalone treatment. Also, topical gels and creams like chlorhexidine, antibacterial, and antiseptic help healing. The second most common case of a bump in the gum is pyogenic granuloma. This rapidly growing red or purple mass bleeds easily when touched and is usually painless. Common among young children and pregnant women, it happens due to excessive tissue response to minor irritations or hormonal changes during pregnancy. It's also called a pregnancy tumor. We call it a tumor, but it's not malignant. Its prognosis is good because it doesn't spread to other parts of the body. Treatment is surgical excision of the entire lesion. If it occurs during pregnancy, dentists might recommend waiting until after delivery, as many pregnancy tumors shrink or disappear on their own once hormone levels normalize. The third most common cause of a bump in the mouth is irritation fibroma, the most common benign soft tissue growth in the mouth, usually caused by chronic irritation like cheek biting, rubbing from dentures, or a rough tooth edge, these bumps are smooth, firm, pink, and not painful. They usually do not bleed easily, grow slowly, and are very common. They may be broad-based benign fibrous tissue, scar-like, and non-cancerous. Treatment is simple excision. Less common in young children, but can occur due to habits or braces. Irritation fibromas are usually located in the inner cheek. Abscesses are located on the gums near teeth, and pyogenic granulomas are usually on the upper gum, sometimes lips. The fourth most common cause of mouth bumps is canker sores, also called aphthous ulcers. While technically depressions, since they are ulcers, inflammation around them leaves the impression of a bump. Stress, minor trauma, hormones, and sometimes food sensitivities cause them. Canker sores start as a red bump, then typically form a yellowish-white ulcer crater with a red halo. They can be painful, usually located inside lips and cheeks, not on gums. They usually resolve within two weeks. Benzocaine gel and chlorhexidine can speed healing. Sometimes steroid pastes like triamcinolone acetonide are used. The most important lesion you should know about is oral cancer called oral squamous cell carcinoma. It can present as a persistent, non-healing ulcer, a red or white patch that becomes raised, or a firm, hard nodular mass on the gum. Initially, it may be painless. Warning signs include bumps that are irregular, have mixed red and white areas, feel firm or hard, are ulcerated, and don't heal within about two weeks cause unexplained bleeding or lead to tooth loosening in the area. 
The primary causes are long-term tobacco use, smoking or smokeless, and heavy alcohol consumption. Chronic irritation and certain conditions like lichen planus can also play a role, more frequently seen in adults over age 50, particularly those with risk factors. Can occur any urine gums, often the lower gum. Early oral SCC can sometimes resemble benign lesions like pyogenic granulomas or fibromas. That's why thorough evaluation and a high index of suspicion are critical, especially in at-risk individuals. Any suspicious, persistent gum growth should be biopsied to rule out cancer. If cancer is detected early, smaller than 2 centimeters, the chance of complete cure with treatment is high. In stages 3 and 4, the prognosis is not favorable. That's why early detection is life-saving. In the end, what matters is not the discomfort of the bump, but the vigilance we show in seeking help. Only through awareness and early action can we truly protect our health. And so, we stand at the crossroads. Let us choose vigilance over neglect. Treatment over delay. Healing over harm. Like a drumbeat calling for justice. Let us heed the warning signs our bodies give us.